Hello beautiful people, today we'll be making Nigerian mushroom soup. It's Jovi Q again, welcome to my channel. This particular mushroom comes out once every two years and whenever you get the opportunity to make it, you just love it because you're looking forward to it. It's actually called Onye Kamete in Item language of um, Abia State and I don't know what you call it in your dialect, in your own side of the eastern part of this Nigeria or in your own local dialect. You can write that down in the comments below. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, why not do so to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my amazing videos. So see you in the video. Here we'll be needing mushrooms, well washed mushrooms. So we all know that mushrooms are stuck to the ground and we need to wash them thoroughly. I tend to wash mine with salt in a lot of water and I think about four or five times. I keep washing it until I'm sure that there are no sands or there's no sand attached to the mushroom. You can actually cook your mushroom with no extra protein like meat, fish or stockfish. But in this video, I'll be using those so <laughs> don't be dismayed you can actually enjoy your mushroom without them so here i have my crayfish well blended with pepper stockfish you can use any stockfish of your choice onion please do cut your onions chop them properly we don't want to start chewing onions some oziza leaf finely chopped you can use any thickener of your choice, but I'm using pounded yam here. So you can use cocoa yam as well. Then I have here dry fish. So all together, putting all this together, we'll be making our mushroom soup, our African mushroom soup. So with a little amount of water on fire, I've added the fish protein and onion to fire and just one stock cube. So the reason why I've done this is to bring out the taste of the fish. Here I'll be adding the water that I'll be using to cook the whole of the mushroom. Salt to taste. So do take note that I started by using a little amount of water to bring out the taste of the fish protein before adding more water to cook. So at this point, I'll be putting my palm oil, leaving it to boil, and then in goes the crayfish and pepper blend. So beautiful people, now it's time to thicken the soup and you don't want to just dump the whole thickener into the soup, just do it gradually like you've seen, take it in chunks and try to scatter them. The smaller the chunks, the easier it is to thicken the soup. You don't want to spend the whole day waiting for a chunk to uh, kind of dissolve in the soup, so help it a little. It actually helps to reduce the cooking time. So ladies and gentlemen, the mushroom. <laughs> it's time to cook the mushroom. I actually like to put them one after the other like this, gradually, so that I won't get it broken. I mean, I don't want to call it, is it the tail or the stem? So as not to get it broken anyway, I have to take it gradually like this. Nothing stops me from pouring it inside, but I think I'm going to spoil something. So. This mushroom that we see once every two years. Hmm. I can't wait. Stare. It looks as if it is too much and there's little water to handle it. Don't worry. You see what turns out. Yeah, voila. Now you see. It is sufficient. The water is really sufficient. Then in goes our Oziza leaf and we are ready to dish our mushroom. All you need to do is just leave it on the heat for just a little time and dish. You've come thus far. You're enjoying the video. You want to see the outcome. Now this is the outcome. Subscribe Joe. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any wonderful videos. Come on chop mushroom. <laughs> 
Go and buy your own. It will soon go out of season. Bye for now. I love you. Mwah.